<laughs> y'all. Sorry about that. Uh, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Ant-Man Moran here. Merry Christmas, by the way. Today's Christmas, the day I'm recording this. And welcome to my 50th YouTube video. Today it's Minecraft, I've decided. It's a little giveaway because I think over the past couple months, actually, I've been working on these for a few months, I've been making two, count them, two resource packs for this game. Uh, and they're installed right now. Uh, here you go. Yep, based on myself right there. And uh, Josh Ryuk, of course. Uh, by the way, <clears throat> I bet you're wondering, uh, which one is currently installed. Well, how they do it is, uh, when you put multiples in there, the one at the top takes priority. So, since just about everything has changed, we will be seeing all the features of the Josh Ryuk resource pack first. Because I thought it was, uh, you know, I, it's Christmas. I, the gift of giving, uh, I thought I'd give him the chance to go first. <laughs> oh, the sound effect, uh... <coughs> is uh, from Resident Evil 2 and uh, Code Veronica, in case you don't remember. <laughs> Here's the title menu, of course. Uh, for the most part, most of the textures between the two packs are very similar, but certain sound effects are like music, um, the clicking effect, like I don't have the beep, I have a different uh, effect. Uh, the background is basically his YouTube image, and I don't know if you saw it, but down there was the Umbrella Corporation logo. Hang on, let me try something here. Hit this, escape. There you go. Now you can see it, right? Take a look at this. <laughs> Just take a look at this. <laughs> I thought I'd put that there because apparently he's a fan of Barry, <clears throat> excuse me, Barry Burton from the uh, original Resident Evil. <laughs> Not that I blame him. Alright, where should I... Now the question is, where should I tour? Oh, this right here, this is a work in progress. Like, it's a very large 1 to 500 scale of the United States of America. I tried to explore the whole area and uh, plan like a little adventure. A little adventure? This one's going to be a big adventure. The map is enormous, trust me. Alright, um... My old set. Uh, you know what? Yeah, why don't we go check out my first world? I guess it only seems appropriate. Is this thing here? Yeah, I guess it is. See, I got my little shit. You can't see it, but I got my Bandicam shit down there. It's showing my webcam image. I can actually see what I'm doing for once, which is awesome. And it lets me know if I'm speaking or not. So that's awesome. Alright. <clears throat> Oh, yes, and as you can see, I have been working on the Ecliptic Express. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good idea for the locomotive, but, uh... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's check it out. Well, that sounded pretty odd. Ha! <laughs> oh, alright, give it a minute. Let's... Okay, I almost got the... Ah, yes, and see, it is Christmas, because they changed the boxes to holiday themes. Uh, where am I? Ah, yes, I'm in the room where you find the hunting gun. Actually, can you give me a minute? These are new headphones. The rain might be drowning me out, so... Let me try something. In fact... This might be for the best. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Let's see how that is. Oh my god, that was loud. Alright, I, I think that's better. Alright, as you can see, most of the textures are pretty much the same as from the uh, Resident Evil resource pack. The carpet sound you can hear right now is from, uh, Code... Wait, that was I gonna say Code uh, Excuse me, uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, that's what I meant. Yes. Uh, here's the hall where the leech eggs were. Uh, by the way, I'm surprised Josh didn't notice this. But the room with the hunting gun, this room was labeled 101. I'm actually surprised he didn't notice that. It would have been good for a pun. 
Oh, the chest sound effects are taken from uh, Ocarina of Time as well. I thought they sounded pretty good. Oh, by the way, in here, I put in, uh, like, Rebecca's outfit pieces, Billy's pieces, and uh, my own pieces. Oh, and I also gave this because, if you recall, her vest was uh, bulletproof in, uh, the, if you recall, the end of the original Resident Evil. Oh, and the remake, of course. And uh, the reason why they're in here is because in the original version of GameCube version of Resident Evil Zero, the closet in that room was uh, usable for changing your costumes. But apparently, in the HD remaster, there is a um, a secondary special item in each character's inventory that lets them change costumes on the go, which is awesome. Alright, I'm kind of getting lost here. Alright, this is to connect to another car. Uh, this is the room where you face off with the stinger. I guess it's kind of a bar-like environment. The fact that it's raining outside is really appropriate right now. I can't even lie to you. Alright, these are basically the base game paintings, but... Uh, way, way more high-res than the originals. You can the express icons up there. Like, there is a little menu right here where it actually does say that if you examine it uh, in the game. I know there's usually bottles and shit back here, but I didn't know what I should put here. I thought about bookshelves, but eh, we'll see. The conductor's office. Obviously nothing in here. Like, when I actually get it complete, I might get some ideas on what to make, like, really soon. The hallway for the, um, this is the hallway where you meet Billy. Uh, this leads to the front car, but like I said, um, I haven't made it yet, so, <laughs> yeah. This is supposed to be the card reader. I put a lever there, just so you know. One of the uh, bedrooms. The other bedroom, which is a save room. This is... Ah, you know what? Where's my mind? I said I'm searching the resource packs, yet here I am just touring the whole place. I mean, that's a bonus, because this map isn't really complete yet. It's kind of a preview, to be exact. Anyway, uh, let me cut some music on, see what plays. Let's try... Hmm. Uh, let's try 15%. Damn, why is it always so loud there? That's where you use the hook shot to get on the roof of the train, but uh, to compensate, this was the best I could do here. Of course, it works either way, so no complaints there. Get there you go. This is that room where you jump down into, in case you don't didn't realize it. Nothing in either chest. Oops. <laughs> there we go. The fourth car, which is where you e first enter the train from. This door right here. Uh, these doors uh, actually do open, unlike the original game where you couldn't open them whatsoever. And this is the dining car. Ah, here we go. Okay, that's nice. It's the uh, Planet Teller 4 music from uh, the first Metroid Prime game. Awesome choice. Alright, this is the dining car where you face off with that leech thing, which was sitting right here, I believe. 
Uh, the pathway to the roof, I kind of had a little tricky with this one. Ah, but I, ah, but I still got it. It's, it's a little tricky. And I don't think the position of the hole is right, but you know. This is that one room. Where uh, one of your characters becomes trapped. This is the best I could do for the uh, dumb waiter that was used to send items between characters. From that floor to in here, the kitchen. I really can't think of a working idea. This is the best I could do for the ventilation. This is the freight area where two dogs come out and attack you. Just a bonus chest I put there for whatever reason. And here's the rear deck where one of your characters holds this lever to release the hook shot, which is over there. Or at least in this case, it's a fishing rod. <laughs> kind of funny, huh? So, hey. And here's an outside shot of the whole thing. So, what do you think? Is, it, is this a good job or no? Are you looking forward to the finished product? Like I said, all that really need to do is get that locomotive going. Of course, it's probably going to be kind of tricky, but, you know. I think that's enough touring that area for once. For, for today. Puh! <laughs> Italian. Uh, that's true, I remember some people thought his accent was kind of Russian, uh, but it's actually Italian. Ah, and this music is very appropriate. The, uh, what's it called again? Uh, I can't remember the exact name, I just know... Oh, dearly beloved, it was the Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, menu theme. Of course, I think it's been for multiple titles as well. Alright, let's go to my other world here. Alright, give it a minute. Ah, okay. And speaking of Kingdom Hearts 2, there's more music from it. The uh, second Twilight Town theme. Ah, I forgot about weapons, that's true. Actually, can you give me a minute? I'm not confident. It's been a little bit since I recorded. And these headphones are louder than my last pair. Alright, this, this might work. Alright. In case you don't know, this obviously is to be the Diamond Sword. If I recall, this is the um, Dream Drop Distance version of uh, Ultima Weapon, if I recall correctly. Uh, the weapons between both our resource packs are pretty much the same, except the Iron Sword. And for Josh's case, he uh, suggested the Oathkeeper Keyblade. Not very high res as the others, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, the Wooden Sword is obviously a wooden Keyblade. I honestly don't know where that's from. The standard Kingdom Key, I think, is a stone sword, if I recall. The gold one is, like, the Dream Sword, I guess I'll call it that. Leather Armor, and, uh, I think this is Iron Armor, if I recall. Hmm. Not really... Yeah, I think it is. Is the, uh, same between both... Uh, installments. Let's uh, put a full suit of this on. Alright. Chest plate. Alright, go outside. <laughs> Oh wow, this looks pretty silly. But, well, 
Actually, it looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Oh, give me a minute. I totally forgot to do this like an idiot. Let's lower the render distance so it might not get choppy as much. Fuck! Why oh, is so loud? Oh yeah! Take a look at the villagers. It's the merchant! And not only that, but... What are you buying? Creepy, huh? Is that all, stranger? Pretty cool, huh? Oh, hang on, let me see. Okay, 22... Like, listen what happens when you, uh, give him what he wants. Uh, where is it? Materials? Yes. Alright, he said 22. Like, this is pretty cool. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. He says it twice after you take it. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of funny how it differs in pitch, but I still think it's a very cool feature. Oh, and as you can see, it's like uh, it's supposed to represent money from uh, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I thought that was a good call. Oh yeah, so the grass sounds are from o Ocarina of Time. These footsteps are from Resident Evil Retro games. As you can see, there are multiple colored merchants. Nemesis makes an appearance from the uh, Resident Evil resource pack for these both packs. Stars. Ooh, bitch. Stars. Uh. And chickens are basically cuckoos from Zelda because uh, they sound like them. The, the cows are also have the same sound from from that game as well. Ooh! Oh yeah, I forgot I put this in there. From uh, Metal Gear Solid, if you recall. Oh, yes. I forgot to show you all the armor. Leather is pretty much the same, no matter how you slice it. Oh, uh, these are basically, uh, the trio's armor from, uh, Birth by Sleep, if you will. Ventus, I believe, is chain armor. Yes, if I recall correctly. Uh, Terra's is the gold, and Aqua's is diamond. I'll get to it. I'll get the other in a minute, but let's see what this... Okay. Huh, not bad, if I say so myself. Yo, that airship in the background, though. In case you don't know, that's the, uh, Ragnarok from, uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Just in case you don't know. I feel like I have to speak up because of these damn headphones. Alright, that's enough of that. Now here's, uh, Ventus's gear. Which, yeah, like I said, Terra's was the gold, Ventus's uh, chain armor. Nice. Not bad at all, if I say so myself. Alright, next up is uh, <clears throat> Aqua's armor, is, is the last one, and I know it's diamond armor. I know that for a fact. I don't think I put the boots on, did I? Eh, oh well. The 
it's a little tough to see, but you can actually see little things on the side too. That's pretty awesome. Alright. Armor's been done. Suddenly I feel like going... Alright, these are basically for the most part the same as uh, Resident Evil, including this lighter. Which uh, replaces flint and steel. Foodstuffs are basically the same, although I made the carrots look like the um, carrot icons for when you're riding uh, your horse in that game. Ah, uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. How did I forget? This feature was implemented from the Metroid Prime resource pack that I'm working on as well. Boom! What do you think of that? This is not only that, but it's much better than the original pumpkin because you can still see your full environment. Well, well, okay, almost all of it. By the way, that up there is the uh, observatory from uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Another player made that in a big adventure map. I can't remember. It's tough to pronounce the name. I think it's L Lake Bone. If I, I think it's something German. I'm not 100% sure. But for the most part, uh, I left it the same as it did when I left. Although I did seal up some uh, portals and shit because they don't really have to go anywhere in this world. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Down here is the uh, high wind airship from Final Fantasy VII. Ah! That was from Dream Drop Distance, and uh, once again, I'm going to have to go for 5%, I guess. Okay, that'll do. I forget that. Now, this tune did play on the original video of this when this was just a work in progress, but. I found out back then it was uh, too loud, so I'm trying to learn from that mistake. This is basically down here, my very first big structure. It's supposed to be the mansion from the Resident Evil remake, but um, I mean it's not bad, but like the big problem is uh, the walls are, are all single layer, so each of them has the same you know, look, overall. Although I do think this feature right here is pretty cool. Alright. Ah yes, creatures. These are actually the spawn eggs for them. I feel like I should go to the nether for this. Alright. You know what, I think I will. Plus, it'll allow us to hear the music there, too. By the way, how's y'all's holidays been going? Going well? I hope you got what y'all wanted. I mean, if y'all were good, that is. If you weren't, I don't know what to say for you. Except, uh, better luck next year, I guess. <laughs> oh, by the way, to those of you who've seen the Raccoon City Revival Project maps, yes, this is where I re created this house that I placed across the street from Josh's estate. Uh, right in front of the entrance to the St. Michael clock tower. This is where I first made that house, in case you don't know. Alright, the path to the nether is uh, through this way. A friend of mine's house that he uh, designed, kind of. Oh, just to be clear, in case you didn't see it earlier, this resource pack is meant for version 1.8 of Minecraft. Oh! Is... Okay, I gotta turn this...
this on for enemies to spawn. Oh, what? How about that lava texture, though? Yes, and I did shorten it because it just that last tune kept playing just about infinitely during the the last time I uh, tried to try it. All right. All right, what kind of tune do we have in here? All right. Whew. Well, that was creepy. Speaking of creepy, eh, the creeper is back, except he's a little more high res now. Hmm. Huh. Look this way. Yeah, there you go. Show that more high res face. Alright, I'll get whacked in the face. Alright. Alright, th ooh, that sound effect was uh, Metroid Prime shit. Yeah, speaking of which, I think he's a, like to represent the 8 bit pirates from Nintendo uh, Metroid games. Kind of funny they have bows though, but you know. Their sound effects are from the Metroid Prime games, though, so that's awesome. We have Liquors back from the Resident Evil pack. Although, I don't know why they always appear brighter on my version. Like, they appear... Like, you see the texture glitching and like that? I don't get it either. What was that? Alright, zombie. More or less the same from Resident Evil. Fight. As you could have heard, he has got the footstep sounds. Okay, there's some music. Hmm. I gotta say, this is a little tough to hear, but if I recall... The Dark Aegon Wastes from Metroid Prime 2, I do believe. This is basically, uh, gassed now. You see? Eh, sometimes they make the normal sounds, but it's alright. Dropped something, but I have no idea where it went. Oh! No. Uh, web spinners are basically poison spiders. Unfortunately, they don't have separate sound files, so they sound the same as liquors, which is kind of silly, but, you know, work with it. Alright, next up we got the parasites. Which are basically, in this case, um, what are they called? Um, what, what were they, Endermites? I, I can't remember what they're called. But yeah, here's one of the little bastards now. And, we, basically a bat, <laughs> obviously. Of course, unlike their Zelda counterparts, they're not really harmless. I mean, they're not really harmful, excuse me, they're harmless. I'm trying to see if I can... Eh! That's yeah, tough, isn't it? Wow. <coughs> excuse me. Alright, uh, I'll keep that equipped. Just because it looks so damn cool. Alright, the music's fading. Alright, let me see if there's anything super big in here. Most of the textures, like I said, are the same from uh, Resident Evil Resource Pack, so if you've seen that before, then you probably already know what to expect. Oh! Duh! The music discs! Way to think on your feet, you damn idiot. Alright, let's cut, um, 
this might be kind of loud, so maybe I should cut it down. Alright, playing a jukebox in the nether. Wowzer. This will be fun. Mm, maybe not near the portal. Alright, look, you know what, let's get out of here. Yeah, a portal might just drown stuff out. I don't know. Man, this video's going pretty great if you ask me. Been half an hour, I can see the timer on my shit. By the way, I also should mention I've got quite a few new games, like something called I got a good, a decent PC re edition of Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VI, and a, a 3D version of IV. And also a, a, another game called Dino Crisis 2, which is more or less made by the same people who made the Resident Evil games. But it features dinosaurs instead of uh, zombies, obviously. Okay, it's very faint, but did you hear that lava sound effect? Ah, you know what? I did forget to... What the? Bitch, move! This is like a little escape route I made for the basement. Oh! <laughs> it's because I left the enemies on. Bye-bye! <laughs> that lava sound effect, like I said. Zelda Ocarina of Time? It sounds amazing. And so does the texture. Look at that. Let's, uh, move away from here. Yeah, let's go back to the house. I mean, provided it fully spawns. Because, uh... Uh, if only I could play PS3 games for you guys. I'd probably be, have a lot more videos. Uh... Alright. Place that there. Alright, music discs. There are 12 to view. Alright, most of them are from Kingdom Hearts. They're basically more action-y type music, so... Yeah, no. But some of them, like, um... Like, which one? This one, for instance, was uh, suggested by Josh Royick himself. I, uh, decided to make it into a record, because it sounded a little too action-y for background music, you know what I mean? Alright, like I said, most of these are... Kingdom Hearts 2, because that's pretty much the only one I've played, but if he has any suggestions, I'd like to hear it. Alright, what are we... Oh, what am I doing? The, the shit will play automatically, won't it? I mean, it'll show it automatically, excuse me. Let's go for fives, I'm not still feeling very confident. Alright, three, two, one. Ah, when you're facing an Organization 13 member in the game, if I recall correctly. Ah, and appropriately enough, by default, the yellow record is labeled 13, so that's why I <laughs> decided to put that one for the yellow one. I thought it was kind of appropriate. Alright, the green one. Ah, I've actually have heard this in a couple other games as well, but this is the 2 redition, obviously. Sound effects sound so awesome. Uh, the orange. I ooh, I like that music. Sinister Sundown. The first Twilight Hill battle theme. What's this? Okay, I know that one. Battleship Bravery. I think this is for that, um, gummy ship course, uh, I forget what the name of it was, that appears when you try to go to Twilight Town the, uh, I think the third time, if I recall. The first was at the beginning, the second was, like, midway through, and the third was towards the end of the game, where you, towards the world that ever was. Alright. Uh, lime green, I guess. Ah, from Resident Evil 3, the uh, theme that plays 
that when you're trying to leave the city and Nikolai either took the chopper or you had to blow it up. Your choice. Uh, the purple one. Alright, take that out. Ah! Do I even need to say where that's from? Oh, that was perfect right there. The perfect version of that effect. Alright, this one's the one I was talking about. The, uh... This is from the extra battle mode from Resident Evil 2. I recognize it. I can't remember how far into it. I think it's when you get to the police station area, if I recall. Speaking of which, I can play Resident Evil 2 for you guys. Uh, granted, it's not going to be perfect like my Resident Evil 3 gameplay, but I can do it. It's an option. As was the other games I mentioned. Ooh, that was perfect. Uh, like this other game I bought, I also got something called Nobunaga's Ambition. Uh, Sphere of Influence Ascension. Big title. It's a historical simulation game. Not sure if it's what you guys would be into, but... You know. Just look it up and let me know what you think. Okay, there's a similar name track on these records, too. Alright, the white one. Ah, the second Twilight Hill battle theme that plays after Sora Awakens. Alright, come here. Uh, Alright, attention rising. I am feeling some tension right now. Dumbass. Um. Oh yeah, this is the uh, basically the encounter two for Metal Gear Solid, but the Super Smash Bros. Brawl edition of it. You know, because Snake was in that game. This is the last one, and to be honest, I decided to carry this over from, uh... I decided to carry this over from the, uh... Ouch. Still fucking loud. To carry it over from the, uh, Resident Evil resource pack, just because it always sounds so awesome. See? Listen to that. They showed most of the changed creatures. The wolves are still basically zombie dogs, as you can see in there. Wait, see them right, right there? From the resource pack at Resident Evil. What? I think that's basically all the big stuff that I should have shown if, on this pack. If that's it, then uh, I can switch over. Uh, yeah, I bet guess it is. Alright, time to switch over. Here's how it's done. Now, all I have to do, click this little arrow out here to move mine to the top, and in just a few seconds it should make it over to my resource pack. Not much difference between the two, like I said, the only difference is music, the records, hmm... And, um, what do you call it? Oh, the little click sound effect. Alright, give it a minute. It's, uh... I'm getting the blue circle here. I like shouldn't touch it. It's loading. It's loading. Trust me, it's loading. Oh, huh. Oh, by the way, chips for ten cents. How good of a deal can you get on that? My god. These headphones even amplify the sound of my chewing. I'm not even joking right now. You can't tell, obviously, but if you were me, you would know. Now, I see. Hear that difference? That's from the uh, Resident Evil remake. I kind of like that little sound effect. Oh, 
Let me cut my music back on because, like I said, I have different music. Some of it is the same as Josh's resource pack, but not all of it. The, but the creatures and textures, for the most part, are the same. Damn, why is that? Um, differences. Uh, here, uh, for me, I decided to go for the... Actually, I kind of switch. Oh, maybe I was wrong earlier. Ooh! I'm not gonna lie. Damn! This microphone just about amplifies everything, doesn't it? Ten. That's the town theme from the... 3D remake of Final Fantasy IV I was talking about. Pretty peaceful, isn't it? Ah, here comes the rain. Actually, it looks like it might thunder. If we do, try to listen for some thunder. If it will thunder. It looks dark enough to thunder. But you know what? I have a guaranteed idea. Woo! Those lightning sound effects are from Resident Evil 4, in case you don't know. It's the same for both packs. Just to be clear. Whew. Oh, what I was going to say is that actually in Josh's resource pack, Bavaria's suit is ch chain armor, and Ventus's armor was iron armor. I messed up on that. I know this because I know for a fact that in my pack, Phazon's suit is chain, the various suit is um, iron, and the regular power suit is gold. I still have Aqua's armor though. And as you can see, I've got the Master Sword as my Iron Sword. Oh, just so you know, paintings? I will work on that for his resource pack, but I do have them for mine. Oh, and instead of money, I got a rupee for emeralds. Pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mine are basically... His had a little Kingdom Hearts theme to his boxes. But mine's basically the default Minecraft version. Except more high res, if you ask me. It still looks very awesome, don't you think? Ooh, oh, what am I thinking? There's a mansion full of paintings over there. I could just go there and show off quite a few of them. I guess I better remember these records. I got quite a handful of good, good choices here. All right, you know what? Let's go into this mansion. I know it's not perfect, but who, oh. bitch? I'm telling you, that thunder is something else. It is in the resource pack for Resident Evil as well, and Josh's, like I said. Uh, here's one of the single paintings. In case you don't know, she's from us. Uh, Samurai Warriors 4, in case you don't know. Uh, you want more info? Just look it up. I can't be bothered to give a briefing about everything. The same goes for her as well. It's going through here. Same for these two as well, because that one was just up there. This is actually some fan art somebody did. I thought it was very awesome. This is a Life is Strange reference right here. And, and, and you can't say I didn't give credit. Damn, bitch! Because, uh, it's... Ah, this is from Final Fantasy VII, this music. Samurai's 4. 
Do I even need to say who this is? Well, maybe I do. Aqua from Kingdom Hearts. From basically the same as before, but but it's the third one. This is some nice uh, Resident Evil work right here. <laughs> what up? It's Dashy. It really it is. To be honest, I actually did show that picture, the Dashy picture on Twitter. Dude gave it a thumbs up. That made my day, man. Like that that was awesome. All right, we've seen that one before. Mhm. Mm Do I even have to say it by now? Ah, here's some. Ugh, I messed up there. Uh, they're friends, just friends, just to be clear. <laughs> I know what y'all might be thinking. This was the picture I actually took, this exact location. Okay, let's be honest, who can't resist that? And uh, this is from an app that I was actually playing lately. I don't know if you can see the title of it, but it's right there somewhere. Whew! Ah, uh, you can see a picture of the police station up there. Raccoon police station. Ah, check that out. That's actually my current desktop pa wallpaper, believe it or not. Like, you can't see it, but... Okay, let's say... My Minecraft window is covering the... Ant-Man Moret. The only part of it you can see is the N101 part. After that, you can see everything to the right of that. But my window is covering just about all the left, a good chunk of it, right now. So right now, yes, I, I'm seeing two versions of that car right there. You can see my Facebook URL, my Twitter name, which is the same nonetheless. Hmm. Let's fall asleep down here. Mm, close the door. Actually, we can just go back to my house. I think I have a jukebox. Yes, I do. Alright, let's cut off the main music so it doesn't drown out. Alright, yellow. Ah, yes. This is from uh, Final Fantasy VIII, in case you didn't see it. It's more or less the airship theme for it, if you will. Actually, like I said, that airship uh, that I was talking about is right over my house. Granted, it's not fully rendering yet. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. Like I said, it's called the Ragnarok. green one. I believe this is a cool theme from uh, The Sims Life Stories, which I might get to working on too. I know I've thought of a Sims 2 thing starring Josh Wright that I'm working on, but this is from Life Stories, and I gotta say it's pretty cool. Shit! 
Okay, you know what? Hold that thought. I don't know about you, but I like this tune. Big shout out to EA for this, by the way. Just to recap. Yep, more or less the same creatures. Alright. The orange. Ah, the Chocobo theme from 8. They tore it up when they made this tune. I mean, it's hardcore. Like, wait for it. Shit! I almost want to dance, but I gotta keep it together. Well, actually, that's the same, so I don't need to go through that again. red one is actually, if you've seen a few of my older videos, you may have heard this at the end of my t gameplays. I haven't used it nowadays, I don't know why, but it's basically the ending theme from Resident Evil 2, but I decided to arrange it into my own little theme. By arrange, all I did was make the tune repeat once, that's all. Nothing too special if you ask me, but... If I could get something official, that would be awesome. Alright. Ah, the theme from The Sims 4. Reminds me, I should get back to that. I did post like a series I was doing, but I never really got started on it. I just did like a little introduction for it like over a year ago. Like, what am I doing? Okay, that was carried over from the Resident Evil one, obviously. Ooh, nice catch. Ah! It's basically a remix from th this area from the past games, but heavily remade. I don't even need to say where that's from. Perfect sound effect. An alternative battle theme from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. It's the Black Jack theme from Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, that's cause that's cause I made it the Black Disc. <laughs> oh, how cheesy. I meant the name thing. Alright, this is the last one, and it's actually pretty epic. Kinda sounds like something you would hear in an anime or something. Of course, I can't get into the full tune here as much as I want to. As much as I want to, I just can't get into the full music. I... It's a shame, really, but at least you know the names of the tunes, so you can look them up yourself if you want to hear the whole music. Alright, I think that's just about everything there is. 
like I said before, Merry Christmas, guys. This is my birthday present to you, these two resource packs. Uh, let's cut music back on and see what I might get. Easy. Alright, just wander the town a little bit. I think it's called the Tour of His Bog for Metro Prime 2. Not a bad choice. I can't believe how far this world has come. This was my very first Minecraft world on PC ever made. It was just a small village at first, now look. Alright, you know what? I think that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed these these resource packs, and I do hope you enjoy using them, because guess what? They're both available in the description below. These are my Christmas gifts to you guys, and in honor of the 50th video on my YouTube channel. 50 videos. Ah, and this is the one menu theme that we share. The one, the one that's playing again. Mutual stuff, you know? Alright, like I said, that's it for these resource packs. I hope you enjoyed them. Hope you... Um... There's two tracks playing at the same time. Well, that sucks, but this is kind of embarrassing. Wow. How the hell did that happen? Wow, that was kind of embarrassing. Um... Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed these resource packs. Their downloads links are below. They're my Christmas gifts to you guys. And in honor of the 50th video on this channel. Uh, didn't I say that already? Ah, uh, whatever. Worth saying it again, right? Anyway, I said multiple game ideas earlier in the video. Let me know what you think. Final Fantasy 4, 6, 7, Dino Crisis 2, Nobunaga's Ambition, uh, Resident Evil 2. What? I need some ideas going, y'all. Let's keep it going. I can also play Samurai Warriors 4, too. Like, it's... 4, part 2 is basically like what they're saying. You know, like, Final Fantasy 10, 2, 13, 2, that kind of thing. It's not like a sequel, mind you. It's just like a different version of the original game, kind of. Um, <clears throat> let me know if you want that. I can play that, too. Um, alright. I'm gonna go. I'll let... I'm going to hope to have a good Christmas today, uh, in case you're wondering, it's still the middle of the day, uh, I'm waiting for any potential presents. If I get any, they'll probably be late. I hope, anyway, I hope you guys had a good holidays, that's for sure. Now then. Just to clarify, I am recording this on Christmas, but, um, since the library is most likely closed, and since my home Wi-Fi sucks balls, I'm probably not going to be able to upload on Christmas, so when you're seeing this, it's probably the after Christmas, most likely. Which really blows, kind of, but, eh, what can I do? Alright, <clears throat> hope to see you guys soon to my next video, whatever it may be. I'm still open for options. I, I did mention some options, of course. Anyway, until the next time, I should put the music back in here again. I hope you guys are having a good day and shit. All right, and have a good Christmas and everything, y'all. Peace.